you are already a millionaire living in Nigeria, this video might not be of any help to you. But if you are someone who is looking for an extra source of income, or you need a business or a side hustle that can generate some good amount of money for you, very little amount, maybe 200 to 500,000 Naira every month, then this video would show you five lucrative businesses yeah that you can start in nigeria with as little as say fifty thousand naira to hundred thousand naira and they're going to be making some good returns every month yes these five businesses i needed to pay attention uh, and i needed to select one or even two don't overwhelm yourself that you want to do all of it you will burn out you will spend money you will not make a dime so select one or two and then immerse yourself into research and learning that's where you can begin to make money from these businesses and i have to uh point your attention to one thing it is not a get rich quick stuff it is not something you start today and then money starts flowing it's a process but one thing is guaranteed you are going to make money doing these businesses because people are making money doing these businesses i have tried i think i've tried one out of the five and i had a good experience with it <laughs> you understand i had a good experience with it so i believe that you will also enjoy the experience so yes in this video i'm going to share with you five lucrative businesses that you can start in nigeria with as little as 50k to 100k and above and get some good returns every month are you with me let's dive in the first one is food supply business food supply business so you decide on which local food do you want to supply to people or do you want to sell? You may, you may not even supply. You are selling. You are simply selling. Okay. For instance, I live in three cities. As a matter of fact, I live in Lagos, I live in Asaba, and I live in Abuja. Yeah. But I'm more, I, I, I'm mostly available in Lagos. Price of food stuff is expensive there. Let's take yam as an example. In Lagos, yam, you can get a tuba of yam for a decent mini a decent uh medium sized tuba of yam for about three thousand naira plus thereabouts. However, if you go to places like Benue, or this Boko, Boko side, Benue, you get up to ten tubas of yam for maybe ten thousand or fifteen thousand naira. Reasonable sized yam for as little as 10 to 15k so if you have say 50,000 naira you can use 30,000 naira inside to buy yam from Benue bring it to Lagos sell make profit do you understand so if you have 50,000 I will not advise you to just put the whole 50,000 inside that business and no it doesn't work that way you have 50k you use 30k to buy yam probably that 30k can give you up to up to say 25 to 30 two bars of yam you can sell each of them for three three thousand naira so at the end of sales you are making over 90k right so you you buy with 30,000 naira then the delivery they can charge you 10,000 so you have spent 40,000 naira to buy yam and to deliver and to bring it into lagos or to asaba or to abuja wherever you are okay and then you display them it is yam it is food people will definitely be walking by they will see it they will buy especially when they know that it's affordable and the size is okay so you need to find a way to find people in these villages in these places where food stuff is at least le lesser lesser in price right and of good quality liars with them have a partnership with them send money they will send the, the food stuff and then you sell people do these things with rice people do it with maize with beans with different kind of food stuff so you decide on which one exactly you want to start with start with little money so that you can learn study understand the business terrain before you now start pumping big money into it and in that neighborhood they can now know you as the person who supplies yam to everyone Think about it it's a good business food supply business i use them as example there are other businesses like rice millet sorghum different businesses that you can you can think about and then start from there with little money 
Number two, cooking and selling of selected foods. You can see I use the word selected foods, not all kind of foods because you don't you don't have a big restaurant. You don't have the capacity to do all those stuff. So on your streets, in one corner of a, junk, a busy junction, you can try to be selling rice, beans, plantain, spaghetti. At night, in the evening, probably you open up by 7 p.m., sell till 10, 11 p.m., you close. Only in the evening. So people will know that in this area, this lady, this man, this woman sells this kind of food here. I know, I know a few people who do this kind of business. I don't, know, I don't know them personally, but I mean, when I drive by, when I walk by, I see this business. I see how people are gathered there. I see how bikes are parked, cars are parked. People just want to eat something very cheap, affordable, good, decent meal, and go and go home. People are coming back from work. They stop there. How much? 500, 800, 1,000 naira. They are okay. They have, they've, they've eaten. Instead of going to a restaurant to spend 10, 15K, they come there, they spend 1,000, 1,500. They are okay. Rice, beans, plantain, spaghetti, you know, this macaroni, you know, this simple, simple food that people just have at night and go to bed. There's this lady I know, she sells more than one bag of rice at night. White rice, jollof rice. It's 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 crazy when you think about it. Do you know how much she's gonna make? It that's why I said at the beginning of this video that it involves a lot of work, but there's money in it. You can also decide to be cooking, to be cooking and selling soup, bowl of soups. You can open an Instagram profile where people are going to be ordering bowl of soups. So you sell bowl of soup by liter, two liters, five liters. Many people don't have that time. So they will pay you, gladly pay you to give them to prepare bowl of soup for them and send so that they can store it in their freezer. Business. Little money to start. Business. Think about it. By the way, please make sure you like this video. If you're enjoying, my, my, if you're enjoying this discussion, just hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. If you are new here and you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get to be among the first people to be notified whenever I publish videos. So moving on. The third business is cleaning business. Now, this cleaning business is one of those lucrative businesses that people tend to overlook. <laughs> Do you understand? This is one of those lucrative businesses that people tend to overlook i know this young girl she, who she stays in she's good in oka she stays in anambra she does cleaning jobs and services like she she has employed people when she, she, started, she started alone when she started initially she started alone and over over a period of time she has employed people she has bought equipment we all watch her start and grow in a few in less than three years she has she's becoming bigger every 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 month She's getting contracts, government contracts, personal contracts, cleaning houses. So you can decide, do you want to clean people's houses? Do you want to clean living houses or you want to clean newly built houses? Every day, people are, every day, every month, people are moving houses. They can contact you for cleaning services. You, these things are simple. Just run adverts. We clean houses. We give your houses sparkling, clean, thorough cleaning, blah, blah, blah. You employ a few people, three to five persons. It takes a gradual process. Before you know it, in less than one year, you are, people have begun to give you contracts. Somebody can just build the house and give you the contract to clean the house. That's money. Schools, we invite you to clean schools. Clean offices. <laughs> you understand? Clean business areas. It's not a housekeeping job. It is clean, professional cleaning services. The way you package yourself is the way people are going to address you or take you or prize you. So you offer professional cleaning services. You thoroughly clean houses and make them squeaky, sparkling, clean, beautiful. People are going to, the way you package and present your business is the way people are going to, you know, reason with you on that scale of, on that scale of understanding. So think about it. Do your research, yeah? Cleaning business is one of those lucrative businesses that people overlook. Number four, you become a self-delivery agent. This one is simple. You're not using a bike. You're not using anything. You, use, you simply use public transport. So this, the, a lot of e-commerce guys, 
in Nigeria, in Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, Asaba, everywhere, they complain of the nonchalant attitude of some delivery people. So if you become a reliable and trustworthy delivery agent, in fact, if you have any space in your house, yeah, you can even help them stock goods. A fantastic, fantabulous. You can you can charge them little little tips, little little change change for stocking their goods. So it's called warehousing. So you help people to warehouse their goods. These goods are not heavy, just light, light, simple, simple goods. So that when they receive orders, they send you the order and you deliver for them. Self-delivery agents on every delivery they make, they do. They can make as little as maybe one k or one five or two k, depending on the location. So if you are making say two k per delivery and you deliver and you make five deliveries in a day, then you have made ten k for that day. Your own profit, ten k, multiplied by the end of the month. Sometimes this delivery can be more. Prices can be more. It can also be less. Depends on the location. So this kind of job it requires strength and it requires you. It requires your knowledge of the environment. For instance, if you want to be a self delivery agent in Lagos, you need to be able to know Lagos roads, know the routes, know where to follow, know where to follow to avoid traffic and stuff like that. So think about it. If it's something you'd like to go into, I think it's it's a good business to start with. Have you liked the video? This video, have you liked it? That like button there, yeah. click and smash it. Thank you. Number five, parfait. Parfait business. If you know how to make parfait, you can make money doing it as a business. All right? You don't have to sell it from your house. This is simple. You apply knowledge. You apply wisdom, marketing strategy. You approach restaurants. You approach stores within your neighborhood, within your vicinity. You have an agreement with them. Tell them their own cut, their own percentage. I'm, you are selling this parfait for 3,500 3, naira. For everyone they sell, they take 500, you take 3,000. So you simply bring a small fridge or they can put it in their own fridge. They do, they do have these standing chillers. So if you have, for instance, you have up to five restaurants or stores that display a parfait and in each of these places, you supply them like seven, five parfait or ten parfait per day. Each of them ten, ten. So that's fifty parfait. You have sold fifty in a day. Depending on the kind of traffic that comes to that place. So you must not just say, okay, I'm selling parfait. Then you start running adverts. You start expecting people to come. You have to devise means to spread. Because this kind of business are businesses that has low margin. So you have to now sell in volumes for you to make more money. Think smart. Meet these people. So they serve like distributors. They are not distributors, but it serves as a distribution channel. You make 50 parfait. You give 10, 10, 10 to 5 stores or 5 restaurants in the morning. At the end of the evening, they've sold it out. Because people are coming there to eat and they're seeing it and, they, okay, let me have one. They've sold it out. From five, from fifty, you are you are increasing. Small time, you're selling seventy. In a few months, you're selling hundred daily. You are spreading. You are growing. Partnership, partnership, collaboration. You are making money. Those who are happy to sell, they are making money. Everyone is making money. Business is growing. So these are the five businesses that I think you can start with as little as fifty k to hundred k in Nigeria. And start making some good profit every month. So think about it and then decide on which one you want to do. Do it well and I assure you you're going to make some good money. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you like this video. If you have any questions, I will be in the comment section. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. And also share this video with as many people you know will find it helpful. All right? Then you can follow me on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, TikTok, everywhere. My name is Courage Ngele. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.